Red Alert 2 World Series Pro Division action coming at you guys. And today we have the grand finals of my 2v2 tournament. That means we have four of the best players in the world going at it for the cash prize. We got Key and the Octo Kid teamed up with Zed, facing off versus Root the Reaper teamed up with Mikos. Now this whole series is awesome, but I know it's a long video. If you guys start skipping around, be sure to not miss the fifth point. The fifth point is madness bonkers. You don't want to miss it. Now, as always, guys, if you're enjoying the content, liking, commenting, subscribing, all that stuff is free for you it helps me immensely. If you do want to get back into the game, come join the fun. RedAlert2.com is the place to be. Tell your friends, tell your family. RA to the moon. Let's go. So best of seven now, a little bit of a different game here. Best of five is so quick. A couple mistakes can knock you out of the tournament. Best of seven, these guys have a little bit more time to read and react uh, and play a little bit longer of a series. Now, both these guys, of course, winning games to get here, taking down some big names. Path and Darius is who Zed and, and Kian took down. Path and Darius, strong 2v2 players. Maybe names you guys aren't as familiar with, but uh, definitely scary 2v2 players. Now, Root and Mikos to get into this game. Very, very impressive. Best of five, playing Legend and Zane. Of course, uh, a number of you guys in the chat saying Legend and Zane OP OP. If Legend and Zane are OP and Mikos and Root beat them, uh, you know, you got to wonder what that means. Uh, again, guys, we do have a new skin, uh, new skins on the Rhinos and Grizzlies. Makes it a little easier to follow the action. This does not change the way the game's played. It just shows the way that the, the tanks uh, look. So Kian going one Rhino early on Root. Root going a lot of uh, a lot of miners here. So doesn't have any tanks out yet. Um, that's going to be our first early action here. So Kian just with one Rhino downfield harassing and trying to throw off uh, Kian's build. He looks like he's waypointed. So Rhino's coming in. Does need to get a flak track in this group as well. But yeah, Mikos and Root, very, very impressive. Legend and Zane were playing super strong. Root and Mikos took some heavy hits in that match. A couple of pretty much blowouts. That I mean, their losses were blowouts. Made it look like they shouldn't have been here. But hey, they won three against Legend and Zane. So certainly proving to that they deserve to be in this spot. So early pressure here. Kian's tank's a little bit strung out. Uh, you see Zed come to reinforce. And that was the big question today. How is Zed, how are Zed and Kian going to play together? 2v2, of course, all about symmetry, symmetry, uh, syner synergy and all about teamwork. And Zed playing very, very well off of Kian here so far. And you guys who watch my stream, you guys see Zed a lot play Blitz. You think of him as a very, very strong player. He doesn't play a lot of regular Red Alert 2. His ELO and regular Red Alert 2 is very, very low, actually. But of course, he plays the game a lot. He plays the other game modes. And you can kind of see that here. His just good map awareness and just good uh, good RA2 IQ from Zed so far in this game. With that being said, uh, blue team here holding off nicely that early pressure. Oh, but the pair drop on the backside. Pair drop on the backside from Zed. Grabs that War Factory. Very, very nice. Uh, pulls their attention to the left. Drops that War Factory in. And now Kian, and now Kian and Zed double team the MCV. Oh my gosh, I, wow, dude, 2v2, man, is so crazy to follow here. I kind of thought they were out. I'm like, hey, you guys can take a breath. You deserved it. Boom, they hop to the right side. They play off that pair drop, and just like that, root down a barracks, and already a, a very, very tough 2v1 situation here. Uh, basically, blue team has to send it downfield and try to get value here. They got to knock one person out. You can't, you know, go into a, a 2v1 uh, at the four-minute mark, and you see us uh, pumping dogs, pumping fodder. Now, the, you know, they're in the pressure cooker here. Red team knows they just have to try to hold this position. Position, spam pillboxes, uh, spam, spam, you know, spam whatever you need to hold this line. That's really what it's all about here. Uh, Rockies in front, take down the pillbox. Nice teamwork, opens things up for Mikos, his rhinos. Nothing on the backside at the moment. Uh, so Zed does send a para drop downfield, keeping a little bit of offensive pressure here is nice. Um, and interesting from Zed, you know, he could have used a defensive one. I guess he felt like they can hold this position. Let's go downfield and put a nail in the coffin. Para drop goes AFK. Could have melted that War Factory, actually. Would add a little injury to insult. But uh, they got more important things going on here. Now, not much anti-air in this group. Uh, so those Rockies from Zed getting a lot of value here. And Root sends his Rockies to take out Kian's War Factory. Uh, but they do knock them back. And there's flak tracks out to deal with it. That para drop did end up getting that War Factory. Now going to get a barracks. Now going to get a power plant. And things go from bad to worse here for the blue team. Looking like a pretty decisive first victory. Uh, Root doing whatever he can to stay in this game. He's building Harriers now since he doesn't have a War Factory. Uh, but very, very, very tough uh, tough position here. Let's see how you guys were feeling about that prediction. 60% of you guys on red. Yeah, you guys don't You guys don't even... You guys are you, you guys are the guys who are like, I don't vote against Kian. It doesn't matter if we're playing Hopscotch on the moon. I don't vote against Kian. And I respect you for that. Uh, Kian, again, guys, who, you guys who don't keep up with Red Alert 2 Weekly, the magazine that comes out where we discuss discuss everything happening in Red Alert 2. I'm just kidding. Red Alert 2 Weekly is not a thing, but it should be a thing. Anyway, if, if Red Alert 2 Weekly was a thing, today's cover story, of course, for a uh, first of the month would be the story of Kian, who finished uh, last month's uh, ladders rankings as number one for Blitz, RA2, and Yuri's Revenge. Zed sells the MCV or destroyed the... Well, Zed without an MCV, who knows? I, I just... Th th there's no way this, this matters, right? Root's not producing tanks. Like, it's just like, these guys can tread water and do whatever they want, but oh my gosh, Miko... 
Zed's so slow to respond to this. What? What? And Root being so annoying with these Rockies. Oh my gosh. Wait, Zed not producing? No way. Zed not... Wait. This... This doesn't... Zed, Zed's out? What the... How did these guys just allow this to happen? Now an MCV... Okay, so... So Mikos is an M, has a naked MCV in the middle of the field. And Mikos is rolling through Zed on the top left. So this comes down to kind of a wacky 1v1, but Kian... Mikos needs to get over to drones quick. And Root has a lot of Rockies in this group, but look at Zed doing such a good job playing off of Kian here to take down these Rockies. Uh, so Mikos now over to drones. And Mikos is downfield, like, full Leroy Jenkins. He's like, I don't defend myself. Who defends? Uh, and with that, Mikos gets fully droned. Um, not able to drone Kian's army. So Kian does take that one home, but I like that from uh, from Mikos and Root, man. They're proving that um, they're going to make them work. They're going to make, make them work for every single point in the series. Yeah, I like that. And you do, you salvage a little bit of momentum. You know, if you get downfield, you, you take out one player's MCB, you get a little bit of, you, do, you know, you don't you don't come out of that that first point with your tail fully between your legs. Pretty scary first point. Kian and Zed, um, and again, with the 2v2s, we talked about that. If, are these guys going to click, Zed and Kian? Um, and, and Zed and Kian are clicking. Uh, that was kind of the big question today. Uh, again, Zed not, Zed not a known uh, regular Riddler 2 player at all. He's a Yuri's Revenge and a Blitz player. Uh, again, you can look at the ELO ratings. We have a good ELO system, Riddler2.com slash ranks. Of course, that's for 1v1s. And, you know, as, as anyone will tell you, 2v2 is very, very different. But, uh, but Zed, if you kind of look at his ELO, it's still going to give you an idea. Zed just does not play a lot of regular Red Alert 2. Um, but definitely clicking here, playing off of Kian well. Of course, being teamed up with the Octo Kid gives you gives you a little bit of momentum. Of course, Kian, uh, Kian kind of number, the number one player right now. So we'll see what Root and Mikos can do. They already pulled out. They've proven that they are uh, the kind of guys who bend and don't break after that very impressive victory versus Legend and Zane to get here. So let's see what they can pull out here. We got corners, Root and Mikos, bottom, uh, top left, bottom right. And uh, Zed and, and Kian, bottom left, top right. Uh, Lower Crusader, if it was more than seven minutes ago, I think you did. I think you did sub. If you just subbed, it did not go through. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's a star by your name. You are a sub. Nice. You're a sub now. Amazing. Lord Crusader. Appreciate it, buddy. Yeah, so it was kind of interesting, you know, watching Legend and Zane went double so versus, uh, versus Mikos and Root, was, which was kind of interesting. You're not going to see that here. Zed definitely more comfortable with Allied. And generally speaking, Allied and Soviet kind of a better a better team up. So this Miner does get droned. He tries to bring in the Rocky. They try to bring a little one-two punch there, bring a Rocky uh, Rocky to play off of a drone. At the top level, Miners get droned. They go on the Service Depot. It's business as usual. So now the next level of that in gameplay is to bring the drone and then bring something in right behind it, bring a Rocky with it or something something to try to go at it, try to take out an early miner, which can make a huge, huge difference. Uh, so it's two Rockies now from uh, from Zed going right at Root's power plant. And uh, Root going to head downfield with three Grizzlies. Three Grizzlies now going to try to go at Kian. Needs to be careful. He needs to run immediately uh, from this position. But yeah, and, he, and now, okay, so now, and now Kian's going to bring the counter puncher. He's like, hey, I'm the Soviet player. You don't get to push me around. Now heading down. Now Root does have a little bit of money in the bank. He will be able to get a pillbox out here. Very nice pillbox, but his reinforcements always War Factory's waypointed. Uh, now he needs to be careful. Kian's going to duck out of that position now. Uh, okay, so he, Root should be able to hold that position. Not going to be a huge issue. Nothing on the backside. Paradrop coming from Zed as well. Zed's Paradrop got a lot of value throughout this tournament so far. See if he can continue that. Uh... And, and oh, and once again, and Zed, the synergy boy, these, these guys clicking. Oh, and Zed switches back to the Grizzly. He should try to take down that power plant. I think he'll get it if he does. And that's a nice little one-two. Oh, and he does. He gets that power plant on one tick. Very, very annoying. Um, but yeah, that was nice. Kian pulled Root's attention. Uh, Zed, pl Zed played off that perfectly. Dropped that pair drop in there and got some value. Early game like this, grabbing a power plant, putting someone low power. At the top level, we talked about that before, it's, it's tight roping la razor blades. Uh, you know, losing a miner, losing a power plant. It throws off your build, throws off your momentum, and you find yourself in these tank fights, a few tanks behind, and against top level players, that's that's all it takes. So Paradrop, Root doing a good job holding uh, holding Kian here. Now Zed, Zed's been able to put a lot of, I feel like a lot of resources over here, kind of helping this out. And we'll see if Mikos can play off of that uh, and see if he can get something done here. But again, this game is kind of devolving into two 1v1s. Now in their last match, when Mikos was getting isolated versus Legend, they lost a couple games. Now in this case, Mikos, Mikos versus Zed, if we split this map into two 1v1s, um, it's a little bit different. Kian is the favorite versus, versus Root in a 1v1. 
and I would say Mikos is the favorite versus Zed in a 1v1. So if we split into two 1v1s here, it becomes very, very even, and it's about which player, which play, I mean, which player breaks first, pretty much, because then you get pinched out. And Root, Root not just, Root not happy playing defense here. He's going to continue to push this line with his GIs. Nice GI control there. And uh, Zed ducks around Mikos. So Mikos has a lot of conscripts. Mikos is a big conscript fan. Conscripts are slow. They won't keep up with your tanks. So you see Zed tries to shift the action away, and now all these conscripts are on smoke break. Root pushing in on the left side. And uh, and Zed pushing in, but Miko's nice unit control. The Grizzlies get strung out. Zed's entire army going down on that right side. A uh, very very nice hold. And as I and Root pushes Kian around with Grizzlies. This is not what you expect to see. Grizzlies versus Rhinos in a one v one isolated situation. Root blowing through Kian. Um, yeah, I know it's it's that's 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 very very that's that's a little surprising. Um, damn. All right, guys, so now over to point number three. So yeah, in that last game, there was a bottom side split. Miko split off a few tanks, pulled Kian's attention, and that's how Root was able to roll through on that left side. Man, guys, yeah, 2v2. You guys know, man, if you guys have been following me, you know, I've been streaming for a couple of years now, but I, I made the Blitz game mode, the smaller map game mode, um, and I streamed that almost exclusively for, for a long, long time, and only recently have gotten over to regular Red Alert 2 more. And following top-level regular Red Alert 2 1v1, is hard to follow. 2v2, man. Um, it's it's like you gotta just be so fucking on it. But uh, I'm gonna dial in, boys. We're gonna we're gonna slowly get better stream by stream. I'm not gonna miss any action. Eventually, I'm not gonna miss anything. Eventually. Give me like a month, I think. A month will probably do it. Hunter with the fall, thanks, buddy. Paf with the biddies. Paf with the biddies, thanks, Paf. But yeah, it's uh it's it's hard to follow these guys. But yeah, so that was really nice. If yeah, so Mikos brought that backdoor split. I was, it seemed like something had opened up that situation for Root, but uh, good teamwork there from Mikos. But yeah, Zed's counter punch on that right side uh, actually was nice going around Mikos' conscripts, but then yeah, he's got himself a little bit strung out. But yeah, that 1v1, well again, isolated 1v1 situation, uh, but then Miko's able to go over, and that's where the 2v2 comes in. You know, it, at the end of the day, you gotta remember that. You're not just defending and playing the opponent on your side. Uh, at, at any point, you can go try to pinch and harass, and uh, well, well played, Miko's and Root. So 1-1 one, one again, guys, best of seven, so plenty of action coming on here. Uh, this map's an interesting one. It plays, uh, you kind of you see this attention towards the center, but we've seen some really, really aggressive openings on this map as well. Oftentimes players build down to the second level, uh, so you can kind of go in and harass early. It's kind of interesting, early game 2v2, you can only build off of your your teammate's MCV. So diving on an MCV is really, really difficult because both players can spam sentries and pillboxes. But once a base gets spread out, that's much harder to do. And Zed sells the MCV. So Zed uh, top, key and bottom here, Zed sells the MCV. And he's just going to push early Rockies and try to go crazy here. Uh, and Miko sells on the right side, so Miko sells a couple miners out, one War Factory sells, uh, and, and Root sells. So Kian now with the only MCV left, we have Root going in, Root goes in, takes out Kian's only War Factory, that's going to slow down his tank production. Zed now going into Root's base, uh, Zed, uh, Zed trying to get up, trying to get to War Factory or Barracks here, doesn't want to stop for the miners. Uh, now uh, we see Miko's dangling on the right side, so Kian does hold off, but Kian doesn't have a War Factory, guys, so this is all time that he's not building tanks which could easily cost him here. Uh, so Miko's now holding off. Kian pushing right in, though. Nice unit control from Kian, but Miko's has a few conscripts, a little bit of fodder in that fight. Miko's now going to retreat. Should be able to hold this position. Now on the left side, Rockies and Grizzlies, Rockies and Grizzlies. So we have the Allied players fighting, the Soviet players fighting here, and Miko's does hold. Now a para drop from Zed. These para drops have been, have been getting so much value all day for Zed. Uh, let's see how quickly they can spot it. Miko's is right there now. Rockies from Zed as well into his base. Miko's on one flak track as, uh, as we have Root going top side root going top side zed just standing and, and banging out now he could pull back to that pillbox again guys uh, the only mcv on the map okay now no mcv so uh kian sold as well so no mcvs left now uh big push here from root with a lot of grizzlies top side uh and and yeah so now and zed's gonna lose his production here zed is gonna lose his production here war factory goes down oh he saves it with the engineer Oh, but still nothing to defend. Use the Engineer to repair the building. Not something you see very often, but very well played, but unfortunately didn't have anything else to help him with. And so now Root's going to clean up the Elite IFE. going to do so much work here. And Mikos just has to hold the line. Mikos has got his miners down here. He's like, yo, I understand the assignment very well. Don't let, uh, don't get rolled through here. And we'll go into a mid game with a nice 2v1. Uh, you see both blue players full production. Zed, Zed out of this game. So Zed has an AFC in Kian's base. So Zed is still alive here, technically. He can still drop para drops, build Harriers, uh, but essentially a 2v1 one here. 
a comfortable position for Mikos and Root to look to kind of slow things down, not make any mistakes, and just close this one out as they can pinch Kian bottom side now. Uh, again, both these guys, Barracks, War Factory, uh, Barracks Warfare. Oh, oh, Mikos has no money. Ah, Mikos has. Oh, so he pulled the miners because he doesn't have a refinery. So Mikos is that is is that is not really producing either. So this is a bit of a one v one actually. War Factory Barracks for both players. So Zed. Ha so both players are in the fight. Mikos has a little bit of an army, uh, and and he, uh, Zed is building Harriers. But I think Zed's gonna go broke. Yeah, Zed's broke. So we can't really do much with the Harriers. Uh, so on the left side, Kian with a little bit of fodder, but Root does push back. And so Mikos, they need to be careful here. Now Kian wants to. If Kian can put Kian, Kian split right now. This is exactly what they want, dangling on both sides. But Kian, man, he's the kind of player that can excel in these kind of positions. And Kian, Kian's going to win the engagement on the left side and win the engagement on the right side, I think. And the miners, the miners, really helping here. But oh my gosh! And Kian wins both right side and left side engagements. And another para drop from Zed. Zed from the grave, dropping para drops like that annoying bomb in Mario Kart when you knock your little cousin out. Uh, and he's still annoying you. And now Kian's gonna alt this War Factory, take out that production, and the blue team is essentially gonna be down to a barracks at that point. Uh, oh, Kian. Kian, uh, yeah, he will go. Oh, and four more Rhinos. Wow. And Kian is able to split off and play both those guys. And Mikos, that became, that game, Mikos got kind of knocked out of that earlier than I thought. He didn't have any money and didn't have a refinery. So even though he had the War Factory in the barracks, uh, Mikos was out of that a while ago. Um, but very, very nice from Kian to be able to split off, win both those engagements with both those guys, and now closing out this game. Uh, yeah, very, very well played. Here, 2-1 for Kian and uh, Kian and Zed. A couple of close games here so far. Unfortunately, guys, this point we had a lot of lag. It was not a good point, so I'm just going to cut it out of the video. You guys don't miss anything on this. Kian and Zed do get the win, just so you're not confused. But let's go to the next point, because this series does uh, get nice and spicy, so stick around. Um, I've already doubted Mikos and Root once today, and I was wrong. Um, yeah, but but definitely a little bit surprising here. Again, I would say this is actually pretty interesting. You know, to, Again, to a lot of you guys who just watch my stream, Kian and Zed are the much more well-known names. I think this makes a lot of sense to you guys, what you're seeing. Uh, but again, if you asked, I think if you asked like 10 of the top RA2 2v2 players, if they looked at this bracket, who they thought would win, um, I don't think Keenan Zed would have been would have been anyone's favorite, honestly. Top 10, top 10 players, if they all had to choose one person who was going to win this, I don't think, uh, I don't think Keenan Zed would have been anyone's favorite. Ooh, a little bit of lag coming through here. We okay, boys? We okay? These dogs Okay. Yeah, we got to sort out the lag. The lag is one issue. One of the biggest things holding us back right now is lag issues, uh, connection issues. It's really, really tough. Uh, but hopefully we can try to get some more tunnels, see if we can get something going with that, because the lag is really, really frustrating for the players. It's it's just no fun playing through it. So we got to get that figured out. And then we got to find a way to connect more with the Chinese community. Uh, any of you guys who are unfamiliar, basically the whole world plays together, and then China has their own server. And there's more players in China than the rest of the world combined. There's more top-level players in China than the rest of the world combined. Uh, and you know, being able to connect with them would be huge. But the biggest issue right now uh, is the lag, the connection stuff. Uh, we are having a really choppy game. Yeah, we're having a pretty choppy game here. Yeah, it's really unfortunate, but you know, twenty-year-old games. It's just uh, just kind of part of the territory. Uh, just kind of try to roll through that. But yeah, we're gonna see about the tunnel issues. Hopefully, we can get something figured out. Usually, we lag more on the weekends. It seems when, like when a lot of people are online. Nothing too crazy so far here. Everyone just kind of doing their drone dances, working through the lag here. Uh, Brand with the with the sub over on YouTube. Appreciate it. Yeah, but if we can control the lag and then get connected with the Chinese players, uh, I know like to you guys, you know, like on my stream, we have like only a f like, you know, four really, really top bona fide killers, right? You know, Marco, Legend, uh, Quas, Latoff, Marco, Legend, Quas, Latoff, Kian, five, five, like kind of top, top, top guys. Uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, just to give you guys an idea, China has probably six players that are all on those guys' level. So by connecting with China, basically we would double our like top, top tier players. And then, of course, lower levels they have, again, they have tons and tons of players at, at all the divisions. So that's definitely a priority as well. But it's it's almost impossible right now to play with it, to play with them without severe lag. Like this is playable lag, depending on who you ask. Um, when you get the Chinese players, it's they, the games won't even load sometimes. So Zed does sell the MCV. Zed sells, and Miko still hasn't sold, so Zed beats Miko's to the sell. So, Sov, 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 bottom side. Oh, sorry, I missed this, guy. So, Zed and Kian here, uh, double Sov. Uh, oh, it's all four Sov. Man, I'm really, I'm sleeping at the wheel today. Four Sov game. I didn't even think about it. I didn't really realize they switched. So, the first time we're seeing off of that. Uh, so, this is, now, this is kind of interesting. 
Uh, Miko's definitely the favorite here. SVS versus Zed in regular Red Alert 2. Miko's the definitely the favorite, and we are seeing this 1v1, 2 1v1 style game, and I think that's that's definitely what Blue's looking for here, uh, for Miko's to isolate Zed and uh, be able to take advantage of his superior tank control in this position. Zed definitely uh, more of an allied player. Uh, in these situations. Now, this situation, of course, can be a little bit tricky. SVS, uh, Kian, the number one uh, player last month, and you know, top player in the world, uh, and 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 Root, more of a more of an allied player. So that's that's a little bit tricky. Now, this was uh, Root and Mikos's map pick, so this is what they wanted to go double sove on this map. Uh, now, Zed and Kian matching them and matching them quite well. Mikos not finding much value bottom side. Mikos sells the MCV. Everyone just doing their dances right now. No MCVs left. All four players selling, uh, and here we go off to the race. So conscripts for uh, Root, nice little fodder advantage. A lot of conscripts for Mikos as well. No radars are out, so uh, expect to get a lot of value out of those, uh, out of the out of the conscripts, out of the fodder here. Root slowly pushing bottom side, and you see Zed pushing in. Oh, he does get in and grabs a miner. Gets in, grabs a miner, and here Root comes, and Root the aggressor on the top side, and you see so a little. So Mikos brought that backside split again. Mikos brings a backside split. It does pull Kian for a second, but still a lot of fodder. And now uh, Zed pushing in. Now that split from Mikos did did put him behind on his numbers versus Zed, but this battle top side, uh, and, and Root's dogs are out of the fight. Root doesn't have the fodder. He doesn't care. He's going in anyway. He's going in anyway. Now Mikos just has to hold on the backside. I think Root will be able to pull ahead. Oh, but as I say that, Kian brings the miners into the fight now. So Kian brings the miners into the fight now. That those miners right now will help him, but it's going to come at the cost of his reinforcements. Kian's broke. He brings one miner back to mine. He has two miners uh, tanking, so a bit of a half miner split. A couple miners to mine, a couple miners to fight, uh, and Miko's still holding off on the bottom side. His conscript got a position, but it's not going to matter. Miko should be able to hold back there. Uh, and, and Root continuing to press here, and Root could consider pulling his own miners here, possibly, but Root wants to keep the reinforcements going. He knows that Kian took his miners off mining, so you see Kian going dead broke right now, so not reinforcing. Mikos does pull way ahead bottom side. Zed calls GG's. Root rolls through the bottom side. And in isolation, uh, 1v1 there. Um, and Root beating Kian, the SVS. Again, Mikos did bring that little split again. Did pull Kian's attention for a second, but I don't think, I don't think Root needed that. Uh, I don't think Root even needed that help, to be perfectly honest. I think Root could have taken Kian there on his own. If you have the kind of players who will make your life more difficult, right? So I forgot, so we play with multi ng on, so basically you can't engineer in regular Red Alert 2. In Yuri's Revenge, you can. Regular Red Alert 2, you can't. That's how we've played for years now. Uh, but you have to turn on the setting. And so it's funny, like, there's 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 different kinds of players. Today, we have, we've already ran games. We've had eight players. The multi ng was off. None of them have even tried it, right? But you have those players who will who will see it and be like, oh, Ivor forgot to turn it on. And then they'll do it. And then they'll blame me. They'll be like, you didn't turn it on, bro. So it's, it's not, if you didn't turn it on, I can do it. And um, and then obviously all the players are upset and then it's your fault. And then, you, you know, I go in the fetal position in my shower and cry and run cold water over my brain. So it's, uh, yeah, I've kind of realized that early on. Like it's it's uh, it's really teamwork makes the dream work. You know, finding players and uh, who, who make your life easy, um, who want to play for the right reasons. A uh, big part of the game. So big shout out to all these guys, man. Uh, a lot of these guys in here, man. Uh, it's it's these guys are these guys are solid guys. Zed, I think, has played in pretty much every tournament I've ran for the last two years. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, no, I I do host. We host divisions for lower levels. We host divisions for lower levels. We have tournaments and stuff for lower division guys, but we don't do anything with like crates or anything like that. That would actually be pretty funny. I want to make like a beer league. Like a Friday night beer league where we play with like crates and stuff. I mean, the problem is I want to do everything. Uh, I want to do so many different things. That's the problem. So, you know, I've, I really have a hard time with that, spreading myself too thin. I mean, you guys know me. Like, I disappear for two days. All of a sudden, I have a comic book, you know. Uh, obviously, that time could have been spent on something more important. But, um, but uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I want to do everything. But uh, I kind of try to... Kind of try to dial in, focus on priorities a little bit. But who knows what the priorities really are? To me, the comic book is the priority. I got to shout it out again. Red Alert 2, War Torn Lovers, the unofficial non-commercial comic book that I made. Unique story, unique art. We got Yuri and Tanya versus the world, going at the Soviets and allies so that they can try to raise a family together. It's available. Red ra 2 themooncom uh, I don't charge any money for it. I can't make money on it because I don't own Red Alert 2. Uh, but you can pick up your comic book. You just pay printing and shipping. Ends up being like... Um, like eight bucks or something. Ari to the moon.com. Perfect gift for that regular two lover in your life. So all four MCVs out so far. All these guys just doing a little bit of a dance here. It is three two guys. And if you guys who are 
Uh, not great at math. This is best of seven. So match point uh, if red can take it home here. Um, but again, uh, we're going to see a four Soviet game here, which is really interesting. Um, you know, top level 2v2, almost everyone would say, you know, you want to have that synergy, that allied Soviet synergy. But uh, you can kind of set the tempo. If the other team goes double Sov, um, you know, maybe you're not comfortable trying to resist that early double Rhino pressure. So now you have to go double Sov. It's hard to say who this favors. Um, Root, it, Root has developed in the last couple months into such a strong player. You know, we've seen his his Rhinos go toe to toe with Kians. Generally speaking, um, Rhinos versus Kian is not generally is generally a very scary thing to see here. But uh, Root's done a good job so far. But as I say that, this this battle could easily determine the outcome of this tournament right now. Kian and Kian jumping back out again. So both players isolating into a bit of a 1v1 here. And you see, uh, yeah, Miko's, Miko's really trying to pull Zed's attention to that right side of the map. Zed forced to match. And with, you know, if you have an allied player, the Rockies and stuff can bounce back, bounce back and forth faster. SVS, uh, it's, it's much more likely to kind of see if you have two players who are trying to spread the map, both players kind of have to match. Um, the backdoor splits, as, we, as we've seen, have worked out. Mikos has thrown some tanks over to Root's side before and helped him win some battles, but it comes at a cost. You know, if you split four tanks off right now to go try to backdoor someone, uh, that lack of four tanks, Kian, Kian's the kind of player will take advantage of it. Uh, Root, Root doing a good job, good tank movement here and playing off this hill. If Kian comes in, one misclick here, if Root can be up on this hill, uh, these trees and stuff can really mess with the pathing of the tanks. Little stuff like that, guys, at the top level. Uh, that's, that's where the real Picasso level kind of tank control comes in. You don't just click and say, hey, tanks, go a fight. You need to manage, you need to micromanage uh, both your dogs and your tanks click by click in these engagements, and uh, the player who does it better will come out on top. Uh, both players now stretching right towards the center. Well, we're going to get into a little bit of a base battle here, doing some landscaping to clear the way, uh, expand their economies, get on these next ore patches, and of course the tactical advantage of these forward producing buildings to reinforce that position. So look at this, these rhinos coming right out here. Root could get a bit of an edge here, but it's Kian who actually looks like he's uh, he's jabbing a little bit. Uh, so Kian now has a fodder advantage. Root has 3k in the bank. I'd like to see Root get some more dogs in that fight. And here comes Mikos off to the races. Mikos with a bunch of dogs in front. Mikos going to win that dog battle. No engagement dangling on the left side still. And Mikos going right in. Mikos has some tanks out of the fight. Watch the turrets, guys. You want all of your tanks shooting. All of your tanks shooting. The ones on the back, if they're not shooting, they're not in the fight. So spreading out your tanks, getting them into a position where they can all be engaging at the same time. And Mikos continuing to take bites on the right side. Uh, red and blue continue to dangle on the left side here. Now a Desolator the front line for Kian. That could completely swing this fight. Root has to be so careful. Desolator does get down, but it looks like Mikos is going to blow through here. And Zed with no fodder. More dogs coming now for Mikos. And uh, Root jumps off that radiation. Hard to say how much he took. I think he got most. Oh, big Deso hit. Oh, the Desolators get eaten by those dogs. The Desolators get eaten by the dogs. Kian would have had a big Deso hit. The Desolators get eaten by the dogs. And Root kills another Desolator. Kian's Desolator's not deploying. Now Mikos way ahead. He splits off. He's going to try to take down Zed's production and now try to pinch out Kian. Root goes at right at Kian. And Mikos on the backside, uncontested now. Kian finally gets a Desolator down, but it's not going to matter. Kian quits out. Root and Mikos, we're burning barns, boys. We are burning barns. Oh. I, I got goosebumps. I actually have goosebumps. Oh my. Dude, Root and Mikos, this is like that. Like, like, reach into your fucking soul and grab a handful of grit. Physically pull yourself <laughs> and now, and Keen and Zed are going at each other now. Keen and Zed are going at each other now. Oh, and they've turned against each other. And when you, when you, the when the teammates start blaming each other, oftentimes the beginning of the end here, it is match point. Keen's upset with Zed. All right, boys. Sunday fun day. And uh, I'm giddy, man. I'm so happy to be hanging out with you guys and have these guys put on a show for us. We're burning barns. It's match point. Winner taking home 100 bucks. It's as simple as that, boys. It all comes down to this. Quick reminder, guys, RedAlert2.com. Tell your friends, tell your family, get a tattoo on your forehead. It's the place to be. You can learn how to download and play the game. You can sign up for the tournaments. Even if you haven't played in 20 years, we got a division for new guys, new returning guys. It's a lot of fun. You can join the Discord. It's like an online messaging app. It's like a big forum community. Join the Discord, connect with everyone. Of course, you can head over to the YouTube to catch the highlights. Every couple days, I post only the best games on YouTube. I stream all the time on Twitch, a few days a week, a few hours. If you're catching this highlight, where only 10% of my videos go to YouTube. So come on over to Twitch. You can watch for free. I know a lot of you guys don't know what Twitch is. It seems like a weird thing to you. It's free. It's easy. It's awesome. So make the way over to Twitch. Twitchers go to YouTube. YouTubers go to Twitch. Of course, you can donate. All the money that comes into the stream goes back into the stream. Helps me create more content. I'm trying to get more people watching, playing, streaming Red Alert 2. That's what it's all about. Okay. Slash end rant. 
This is it, boys. Uh, and this is insane because, dude, Root and Mikos, through sheer power of will, have got themselves here through two very intense matches, taking down Zayn and Legend in their semifinals to get here, and now going right at Kian and, and Zed, who had a decisive lead in this series. Uh, if I would have let all of you guys vote, um, about a half hour ago, you would have all said Keen and Zed are about to run away with this thing. Somehow, Root and Mikos digging deep in their souls to, to prove to everybody what they're made of here, and you love to see it. And again, we go to a so, so, so versus Sov match. And the real interesting thing here, now Zed, again, I talked about him not being a regular RA2 player. Um, he plays a lot of the other game modes and stuff. So Zed, some of the stuff we've seen from Zed, I think Zed's playing great, better than I anticipated. Uh, Zed's playing really, really well. The, the real thing to know here is when we're getting in these isolated 2-1v1 situations, left and right, and we're seeing Root run Rhinos into Kian's Rhinos. That's not what you expect. Now, Kian, now Root, again, guys, a really, really strong uh, S-Class player. He's in that top half dozen players in the world right now, but as an allied player. So to be going at Kian, who has the scariest Rhinos in the game right now, and to be doing it with his off faction, like, we are seeing Root the Reaper on a different fucking level right now. Uh, you love to see it. Path with the biddies. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate it. Appreciate it, Path. Uh, Miko's, yeah, Miko's versus Zed, the so versus so, if Miko's getting value, that doesn't really surprise me as much. Um, but yeah, Roots, Roots, so going into Key and so, um, very, very, uh, a little bit thrown off by the outcomes of that that we've seen so far. So, so versus so, guys, rhinos and dogs towards the middle. And um, <laughs> again, guys, second place taking nothing home, but uh, but a sad pocket full of uh, sorrows here. So that $100 is a freeze out. Going to first place does come down to this. Now, we've seen a lot of early MCV selves, a lot of kind of run and gun, go for broke style plays. Um, we'll see if it happens here. Both everyone so far kind of bolstering up their economies. No one wanting to make a mistake. And oftentimes at the top level, that's what it comes down to. You will have games where it's like, oh, he made an epic play. But oftentimes it is, it's who makes the first mistake. And then the other player trying to capitalize on it and extract maximum pain. Kian shifts the action to the bottom side. Root is there to match. Root has no money in the bank. Root with no money in the bank right now. So no sentry gun support. So Mikos, now Mikos is trying to make a tough decision here. Mikos is dangling. Zed trying to keep Mikos pulled back. Now Mikos can come down. Oh, and, and Kian. And and Kian's like, dude, I am number one in three game modes. You run rhinos at me? You're gonna bring rhinos at me? And Miko's too slow, and, and you saw Zed dangling there. Now Zed, the yo-yo action. And Mikos goes down to try to help Root. It's not gonna matter. Root tries to get over to drones. It's not gonna matter. And uh, Kian, I like Kian was like, Kian was in the lobby going at Zed, blaming Zed for their last couple losses. And I'll, you, you know Kian pulled something deep within him. Any of you guys who haven't been following, uh, yeah, Kian, um, Kian uh, finished up school last week. He's finished up his finals, and he's been grinding. Uh, and he just put that one on his back, blew through uh, Root. And um, it was a nice, nice play by Zed to dangle and just, just isolate Root, keep Mikos distracted. Mikos too slow to, to defend. Uh, now pull everything, pull it all, send it downfield. Send it downfield. Root now not producing uh, war, uh, from his war factory. Uh, no MCVs, no MCVs for the, for the blue team here. So uh, all Red has to do is hold this position. And um, yeah, you know, quick, quick game here. Not quite that insane, uh, insane back and forth you'd like to see in the finals, but uh, but very, very, uh, <laughs> very, very well played uh, by Mikos and Root to get here. Some very impressive games, um, but uh, Kian, the Octo Kid, man. The Octo Kid proving number one, number one right now. And hey, Zed, hey, hey, shout out to Zed too. Zed, Zed, Zed actually played really well. And again, guys, not just you know playing well on your own, but uh, but that good good synergy from both these guys. And Kian's saying, Kian telling Zed to click. Kian's Kian's telling Zed to click. <laughs> Kian says click. What he means is like there's all this fodder. So Zed's tanks are shooting all these random units. He's saying click the tanks, like click the tanks. Poor Zed. No, Zed played good. You're right. I shouldn't take too much away from Zed. Kian played well. Yeah, again, guys, like it, it's so easy, you know, hindsight 2020. In this matchup, um, I thought Kian and Zed were the fourth. I thought they were the four, four seed. I, I thought Kian and Zed were the lowest rated team here. That's what I would have thought. Um,